I've got a test tube here, and it's full of paraffin wax. And I'm just going to melt this wax. Uh, it's going to take a minute to melt, but it won't take that long. Um, and notice that I've got a, a, a beaker of ice water here. That's going to come into play in a minute. So I'm heating up this paraffin, and of course it's melting. And so hopefully you can see it a little bit that it's uh, a liquid now. And I'm actually going to get it to where it's boiling. I'm actually going to get this, uh, uh, this uh, paraffin boiling. So I've made paraffin liquid now. I'm actually going to start making paraffin gas. And that'll take a couple more minutes, but eventually, there we go. Now it's starting to boil. So now I'm making a lot of paraffin vapor. So I've got this hot paraffin uh, liquid, and it's making paraffin vapor. Now look what happens when I uh, cool. All I'm going to do is cool this, uh, this uh, wax. Watch what happens. Why did that happen? It happened because the paraffin liquid had to solidify. When it cooled down, it solidified. Well, when paraffin, when anything solidifies, goes from liquid to solid, it ends up having to release energy because the liquid molecules are moving really quickly. The solid molecules are just vibrating. So to go from a liquid to a solid, we have to actually release energy. Well, there was paraffin vapor around here. And when that energy was released, that energy was enough to ignite the paraffin vapor that was out in the uh, area. So in the end, just by uh, cooling the paraffin to the point where it turned into a solid, enough energy was released to light the rest of the paraffin that was still in the area.